Hey YouTube, this is Diaphone. Today we're going to be talking about who the hardest and easiest characters are in Street Fighter 6. Now, there's a couple reasons I want to make this video. I think it's a good way to give an overview of each character and help you choose your main. Also, the in-game character select screen has a list, but I disagree with it. They only list like two characters as easy and they don't really give any rationale. So today I want to talk about that. So take Gal, for example, who I think is in super easy tier. Now, the reason I think he's super easy tier is because there's only three specials you need to know. You just zone out with Sonic booms you flash kick if they if they jump and you do the sonic blade if they are turtling up and you can get pressure right it's a very straightforward and easy to execute gameplay easily one of the most easy characters in the game that being said gal has a lot of advanced stuff to him right he has boom loops you guys have probably seen like the 40 to 50 hit combos they're not really relevant to this tier list because again this is more about getting past that skill floor and playing at a intermediate level we'll call it platinum for this video you don't need boom loops to get into platinum right <laughs> it's all about executing a, a very straightforward game plan using really strong pokes using booms to get into that level so we'll, we'll just go through the list in the below order and kind of talk about it. i guess we'll call the tiers super easy easy medium hard and i guess i'll call hardest i mean a game like this compared to like guilty gear for example i think the execution requirements aren't as hard you know as someone like asuka where you have 26 spells you need to memorize <laughs> but in this game game plans can be kind of hard to to work around and some characters have a way more straightforward game plan way more straightforward ways to deal with neutral deal with pressure etc so I will talk about Blanca. So I think Blanca is actually an easy tier and a couple reasons for this, right? Blanca has a lot of specials, right? And I think this character has a lot of depth to them, but I think the play style that Blanca has is extremely easy. Here's the 10 second Blanca guide. You do heavy ball. It's unpunishable unless they like perfect parry or jump over it. And then you do heavy ball again. <laughs> you also have this move, which is really good. And it's basically like a free neutral skip. I think between both these tools, I think his neutral gameplay is, is quite obvious. And then by the time you get in, like obviously you have a lot of different shenanigans, but despite his gameplay, he has a lot of different specials that you need to use, right? You have this move, you have the lightning, you have the command grab. You also have an install level two, which is really good. It kind of powers up some of his ball moves and you get combos from them. And you also have an air ball too. That's I think really, really good. Although, I again, just like Gal, I don't think you need to use the install to be effective with the character at an intermediate level. Yeah, I am debating moving Blanca. The, you know what? I, I, for now, I'll put Blanca in medium just because he has so many options and you have to vary up your options. So the reason I think of medium for Kami is she just has a lot of options you need to rotate in neutral, right? You know, obviously you have like, you have dive kick and you're like, oh, just dive kick in. But the spacing needs to be very good with dive kick in order for it to be effective. Right, it's very easy to miss base a dive kick and get whiff punish or just, you know, that's that's punishable. Although it's it's not too bad in this game. She's kind of straightforward. Like this move is very good, especially at low level. You have a plus on block spin knuckle that is really hard to deal with unless you like drive impact on reaction. But then you can do the light spin knuckle, which is safe and it's safe against drive impact. And if they drive impact that they just die. I think the hooligan is very, very strong with her and you have a bunch of different options. And this is where I think some of the difficulty comes in is conditioning them to respect the hooligan and then using the hooligan to kind of get in and, and do your mix up, right? Right, they're forced to block that standing and then you can mix up between that, right? But conditioning the opponent to be able to land that, which I think is a core concept of her gameplay, it can be pretty tough. But again, just because this is so easy, I think dive kick is like pretty easy to use, although input wise can be a little tricky. I'm leaning either easy or medium. I'll, I'll put her in medium. I think she's uh, slightly harder than Blanca, but we'll, we'll put him in medium for now. Um, Chun-Li, I think Chun-Li is actually hard or hardest. So she has the stance, Serenity Stream, and then you have six different follow-ups after that. So it's a lot to learn. It's a lot to utilize, right? And you can cancel, but there's an execution requirement behind this, right? And she also has kind of the same play gameplay as Gao, where, you know, you throw a Sonic Boom and then you walk in and you run behind it. So I think the, the gameplay is pretty straightforward with her, but... Due to the stance, I think I think that might move her a little hard. Now I'm thinking about it because the gameplay is so easy. I think I'll move her to I think I'll move her to medium. But she does have some pretty strict execution requirements. But I think just because the gameplay is very obvious, right? You just throw a fireball, anti-air with medium kick, and get them to respect the fireball, then go in for a throw. I, I think it's a, I think it's pretty straightforward. But charge motion and stance definitely way harder than Gal. 
All right, so Dalsum, I think just in general zoners, you have a lot to react to. Take Cami for example, she can dive kick her way in. She can spin knuckle her way in. She can spiral arrow her way in. She could just bulldog you. She could drive impact. You gotta survive all that, right? And it, while it's, it's definitely doable, you need a lot of knowledge of the game and a lot of knowledge of like when to use which poke. So for example, like they're DI. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crash me and punch because that's that's special cancelable, right? And if I want to hedge against that. So I, I think just based on like the amount of game knowledge and the fact that you have to play very reactionary as a Dolphin player, I think this character goes into hard. All right, so DJ, the gameplay, just like, just like Chun, just like Gal, it's straightforward, right? Throw booms, anti-air when they get close. Unlike Gal, you have a lot more options, right? So you have kind of rush down move and you can, you know, cancel the Sobot instead. You also have like the stance move where you can go into overhead or low or launcher. Be able to implement all these tricks, you know, same thing with like rush down too. He's like a trickier version of Gal. You know, you have fake booms. You can't just like autopilot as easy with this character. But other than that, like the tools I think are straightforward to use. I mean, you do have stuff like the level two install super, which is like a rhythm game. Yeah, I'm gonna put him as medium because you know, just like Chun, I think you have, you have a pretty straightforward gameplay, but there's a lot of options to, uh, options to consider. Does it seem like seem right putting Cammy and Blanc in the same difficulty as Chun and DJ? Yeah, I kind of agree with that. I think like if I had to order that, you know what? Let, let's put it like this for now. I'm gonna put it like this for now because I, I think characters like Blanca and Cammy that you can just do things and they work and you can kind of play your own like one player game are, are way easier to execute with in Street Fighter than characters that have to play very reactionary. Uh, Zangief. Now Zangief's interesting, right? Because executionally wise, Zangief's pretty easy right you just do spd and you do a lot of damage all right you now know how to play zangief the issue is you have to bulldog your way and he's very very slow even his drive rush like it doesn't go that far compared to other characters his dash is slower he has to really work to get into that spd range right you have some moves like this that i think are, are pretty good at intermediate level but at high levels, like you just get punished. I mean, this is this is unsafe. So approaching is really hard, especially you have to play against someone like a Dalsim or a JP or a DJ or a Gal or a Chun. You have to work really hard, right? You have to at, at high level, I believe, you know, utilizing perfect parry is gonna be key of this character, but intermediates, I don't expect to do that. So I, I think I'm gonna put Zangief just just because his gameplay is hard, not executionally wise, I'm gonna put him in hard. Just I, I think these very slow type of grapplers that don't have like easy ways to get in. Sangi is pretty much the only one in this game. You know, characters like Manon, characters like Marissa, I think they have ways to like cheese the neutral, ways to like kind of help carry the person past the intermediate ranks. I don't think Zangi has that. All right, Honda, this character is easy. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this character, but they made Honda a scrub killer in this game. Maybe super easy. Maybe super easy. So this headbutt is safe on block. You can do this any version you want. This butt slam is plus on block. The onus is on the opponent to be able to counter these things. And it's not easy to counter any of this, right? So you think, oh, I'll just DI the uh, the headbutt on reaction, right? Nah, you can't, you can't really do that. <laughs> I, th I think the neutral is very straightforward. You know, if they're zoning you out, you, you just summon the buff, spam headbutt, get in, do combo. You know, obviously the combos, you have to manage the resource, but this is so easy to do. Come on. A anyone can do that. I got to give it the easy. Jamie, I'm going to give hard or hardest. If you want to play beginner level Jamie, pretty easy, right? You just do crouch meme kick in the Rekka and you just keep spamming crouch meme kick in the Rekka and you just drink, right? And that seems pretty straightforward, but if you want to get more into the character, which I think you do at an intermediate level, right? You have to memorize what he does at each drink. So level one, for example, you get the dive kick, you get the target combo, and these are both super impactful, right? And you have to make the space in order to get the drink. And then, you know, two drinks, you get more moves, you get this overhead that combos. His game plan against certain characters like zoners, which I think zoners can be pretty hard to deal with at a lower level is really bad because let's say you put all this effort to get in against the zoner and you do your combo and then you drink and they're back you're back to full screen and you gotta get back in again <laughs> so just because like of all the drinks you have to manage with this character and it's not something you can like really bypass at a low level and the fact that you know he does struggle a bit with zoning i i'll give this character hard 
JP is interesting. I think JP is quite hard to play. I also think he's a scrub killer. Now this is like, this is weird. Like scrub killer plus hard to play is a really like weird zone, right? Because any scrub killer character you can get into a uh, high level. So let me explain why I think he's a scrub killer. He has a low fireball. That's the overhead and the overhead fireball. So that's, this is the low fireball. This is the overhead fireball. No one's blocking this, right? So you can just keep doing this over and over. And then if they start blocking, you can parry. No one's reacting to this command grab at low level either. And you can really, you can really abuse that strat, right? When you start to get better with the character, you'll realize this character has a lot of holes in the game plan. You know, especially characters like Cammy, they can start spin knuckling through. So, you know, you're trying to do your fireball and they just get through. So just like Dalsum, you need to be very meticulous with how you zone and you need to make sure you're rotating all of your options, right? So because of that, you know, he's not just like Chun, he's not just like Gal, where you just throw one thing out for zoning, you have three different types of fireballs. You have this like teleport move and you have three different versions and you have the spike that you also have to manage. You have like a lot of weird juggle situations that you're like, all right, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna put him somewhere between medium and hard. I think he's harder than Chun and DJ. I think he's easier than these three characters just because of the scrub killing potential. So I'll put him in media for now, but we'll see. All right, Jury, I think Jury is pretty easy. I'm gonna put Jury in, in easy tier. All right, the thing about Jury is she is quite like straightforward, right? You throw, you get stocks, you throw the fireball, you use the fireball to get in, you did it. She has a good amount of death to her too. So she has Feng Shui Engine. Um, this is quite hard to use. I don't know, they, every, basically everything chains in. I don't know how to use this. You're, you're not gonna get anything out of me on that. She also has a decent amount of options in neutral, right? She has a dive kick, she has pinwheel. She also has like some, some pretty decent pokes to throw out. This is tough. She, she's obviously easier than these characters, but like harder than these characters, I think. All right, I'll put her in easy. I'll put her in easy. All right, Ken, I think Ken is also easy. You know, I mean, he's a typical Shoto, you know, anti-air, fireball. The fireball is actually quite good in this game. You have a run and you have different options out of that run. You can do the overhead. So he's more of a rushdown version of, Re of Ryu because you do have that built-in mix. If you want to spam reversals, he's every spam reversal guy's dream. This level one has to be one of the best level one reversals in the game. The fact that it, you know, you can go from being in the corner now <laughs> the opponent's in the corner. I think that's really, really cheap. Just sold all around and very very straightforward gameplay right yeah great pokes they actually made like one of his pokes easier in this like this five heavy kick this is now super easy to use it's safe this used to be unsafe now you can just like spam this i don't know yeah this this character is quite easy i gotta put him uh definitely above jury at least all right so we're gonna talk about kim somewhere in between medium and hard i'm gonna put him in medium she kind of plays herself let's be honest but getting her to the point where she plays herself can be a little tricky right you have to throw out committal moves like slide you know forward heavy kick she did take a lot of nerfs for example this exdp is no longer invincible so you do have to be a little careful and at a high level you have to you have to really make the most of this character you have to learn a lot of like different can setups to make sure everything kind of flows together but this stuff's not actually that easy and at an intermediate level you can learn like a setup or two and you can really make the character count but because you have to learn these a uh, couple setups i'm gonna put her in medium so next up we got lily i think this character is one of the easiest characters in the game this is actually one of the two characters by capcom that is labeled as easy so you know this character is easy and i'll explain why so lily has the basically the, the easiest game plan right so you summon the wind you do congress fire and then you press five like kick after and the opponent has to guess because they either guessing between strike or a command grab and then you rinse and repeat has to be one of the easiest game plans in the game and it's quite stable even up till high level besides that she just has like really good pokes to throw out i mean this crouch heavy punch does like everything it reaches really far it anti-airs it's cancelable um yeah it's just really good so we'll call her in easy mode i, I think i think she's one of the easiest in the game luke i think i'm gonna just botch him in with all the other shotos all the shows are pretty similar same thing with ryu you know, all pretty straightforward gameplays you know what to do you throw fireball you dp you, you just play around the fundamentals of the game like drive rush there's not really like anything too crazy so I, i'm gonna put him here but i'll say he's the hardest of the three because at a higher level like you do need to get the perfects with uh with luke
but yeah, all, all these characters are, are quite easy. So I, I think Manon's um, probably somewhere in easy tier. I think she's harder than some of the other characters like like Honda and Lily for the simple fact that she has a lot of different moves you can do. You have this move to get through fireballs. You have a command grab. You have three different kinds of command grabs you need to you need to integrate. The different timings on Oki for the different command grabs. This is really good. Just drive rush five heavy punch and then you do here, where, where is it? doing this and then command grab. And you can just kind of loop this. This is really, really strong in my opinion. But you, yeah, just to play neutral with this character, again, grapplers kind of can struggle neutral, but I think Manon's neutral is quite good because it moves like this. This is minus three on block. It's safe to just throw out. It's also an overhead. So if you're looking for like a scrub killer move, this is this is probably, probably one of them. Yeah, th this move's just really good to throw out. She has some pokes like this that are really good to throw out. And you just kind of get in, you know, very, very basic anti -air. One of the easiest hit confirmable target combos in the game. Five heavy punch. And if they get hit, you just press it again. I mean, like this is you don't even need to practice this. This is this is brain dead. And then you get a mix up. So I'm, I'm going to put it easy. I think I think probably like one of the other easiest grapplers to do. But because you have to use a bunch of different options, I'm going to put her probably at the lower end of medium. All right. So last one is Marissa. And this is the other easiest character in the game, according to Capcom. I do agree this character is easy. I don't think she's quite as easy as Honda or Lily, but she's easy. And the reason is she just has some very, very easy moves to use. I mean, you just literally just charge up some random moves and they kind of play neutral for you this move is absolutely insane it's like the superman plug punch they're all plus on block so you can just like kind of throw this out it's pretty hard you can di like the the heavy one but just like cami like if you try to di this it's hard to di that on reaction so like this is very very abusable you do have a lot of different moves you can do in neutral from the step kick all these different charge moves to the superman punch and you have a stance, but the stance is like kind of hard to use because you have to like, you can't cancel into it. So you have to do something like this. And then, you know, you got high, low command grab. So just based on the sheer number of options she has, I think she's uh, harder than some of the other characters in easy. All right, so a couple things. Um, let's restructure this tier list because I, I think I, I think it needs help. So I'm gonna put um, I'm, I'm gonna just move these guys down one, and then we're gonna split up easy, right? I kind of think Blanc is a medium, just because Blanc just has a lot of different options you have to rotate. So we'll say characters with a lot of options that you need to utilize are gonna go in medium, right? So we'll say we'll say Manon, we'll say Cami, we'll put Jury in medium too. Yeah, I think Jury is harder than the the Shadows. Gal does not feel super easy. I'm actually I don't think Gal's like in his own tier. So I'm, I'm actually going to take Gal out and I'm, I'm going to make it like this. Gal's easy, but like, like he's on his own tier of easiness. But I think he's the easiest character in the game. I, I think Chet is coming to a consensus. Lily, Honda, Gal in its own tier. You know what? I'll do that. I actually kind of, I agree with that. I agree with that. I feel better doing this. These characters on the, like their own level of, of easiness. Okay. This looks pretty good. This way it's like nice and spread out. We got that even bell curve distribution. The triforce of easiness. Yeah. Again, this is this is hard to tell. A lot of this is subjective, right? This is kind of based on my opinions. It's based on opinions of chat. For me, I actually find a character like Gao harder to play than a character like Lily because I don't like playing charge characters, right? I also find a character like Cami easier to play than a character like Marissa because I don't like slow characters, right? So because I, I have um, certain strengths and weaknesses as a player, I will tend to pick up those kind of characters I have strengths in easier, right? So if this list doesn't align with necessarily with what you think, well, it's because everyone has their own individual differences, right? But this is just my opinion. I hope this helps. I keep getting this question. Does modern controls matter? Uh, no, right? Because every character on this list gets easier with modern controls. It's no secret that at a low level, modern controls is better than classic controls because it's easier to pick up with less time investment. At high level, I think classic is better, although modern is very, very competitive and in some niche cases, it might be better. So I'm going to preempt that question in the comments. Ryu before Ken? Uh, sure. Oh, I think I might move Jamie here. I don't think Jamie is as hard as uh, I think Dalsum's are. No one's ever kind of come to agreement. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. If you like this kind of content, please consider like, sharing, and subscribing. I mean, we're trying to get the 50K and we're trying to, you know, make some really quality content for Street Fighter 6. So I hope you guys can stick around for that. Comment down below your opinions. I'm sure they'll be great. And <laughs> please don't use this to feed your egos and be like, I won with Jamie. I got to dime. I must be so good. Or be like, man, I can't win with Gal. I must be the worst player ever. Like, don't think that way. Come on. This is just a subject that's here for fun and for information. So again, it doesn't matter who you play. This game takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of skill to be good at. So don't be too hard on yourself. Some of the characters in Hardest might take longer to be good with than characters in Super Easy. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Take care, y'all. Peace.